What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Storytime. I'm here with CJ. That's me. And today we're going to be talking, I think it's pretty messed up, but it's <laughs> nine deaths that happened in the happiest place on earth. Can you guess what it is? Disneyland. Disneyland. Well, it's supposed to be the happiest place on earth, but these motherfuckers, man, <laughs> they have the worst death. But most, more than half of them were their fault. Yeah. Right. It was their fault. Most of them. But let's get into it, guys. So we're going to start with a dude named Mark Maples. And this happened in May 1964, right? So when you think about back in the day, from, you know, from history class and all that, I feel like you don't think i feel like there wasn't dumb people like that yeah. i feel like there like was there more common <laughs> i feel like there was more common sense now i mean back then than there is now yeah right? i can see that <laughs> but looking at re looking at her research and everything when it came down to these topics i was like what the hell dude so this guy 15 year old lives in long beach or lived in long beach which is down the street from us was killed when he he tried to ride when he was on the ride on matterhorn yeah. Matterhorn, uh, well, here's gonna be a picture here and we'll put a little video. It's pretty much, what was it, like a little sled type thing? Like a bobsled kind like of Like a bobsled type thing. I said it like I know what it is. I yeah. know <laughs> and you know, people now are like, oh, but how roller coasters on don't they have safety? Back in the day, it was just, that's it. You couldn't yeah. clip it. You know, now, 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 it's it like, like that's why I'm kind of like, not scared of roller coasters no more because he's lying he's still scared of roller coasters <laughs> all right so this i do these gestures because how dumb can you be bro so this ride you know it's a big mountain and it has rails so you're pretty much you go up right you go up you start all the way in the top and then you start going down right yeah fast like fast i don't know how fast it was back then but this dude decides to take off his belt and stand up right while the rider's going he stands up and i guess it makes you know because he does make kind of like hard turns he misplaced his footing fell landed no he threw him off it didn't it, he didn't fall he threw him off and it landed on the rails and what ended up happening was his what was it his skull was fracturing his ribs causing internal bleeding dude died three days later so as you can see, dude, I, I, got, how, I got no words for this, man. These people are dumb, dude. These people are dumb. Like, they cost their own death. Yeah. We said, in the, as before we even started this one, like, we, so we, we felt bad, like, oh, we're laughing at these people, but, like... You shouldn't laugh like, at no type of death. No but. type of death, but some of these things, it's like, it's common sense, y'all. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, what goes through your head for you to, like, unbuckle and stand up? He was 15, so I mean, he's a teenager, and he's well, just not thinking. Well, fuck if you 10, bro. Like, you're <laughs> going somewhere fast. Anyways, well, that, was, that was number one. Number two. All right, number two, y'all. So June 1966. Thomas Cleveland, a 19-year-old kid from, <laughs> from Northridge, California. California people, yeah. And I've noticed a lot of these are from... California. California. I don't know if that says something about Californians, but... <laughs> Mind you, this is two years after... The first the one. first death. These kids attempted to sneak in to the Disneyland <laughs> along the monorail park. Now the trip this park, it says this fool and this was on a grad night. It says this fool tried Wait, to I'm like a, I'm a butt in. Grad night, right? I was telling him I thought grad night started ten years ago. This has been going on since nineteen sixty two. Well grad night is when you graduate, seniors graduate, you go to um, so like a theme park or some to a theme park or whatever. Yeah. But Disneyland, I guess, been hosting this since then. I, I always I thought it just either. started, bro. <laughs> that should have been going on for years. <laughs> so, he tries to, to, to scale his way along the, the monorail track. So, it says Cleveland. So, the guy's name is Cleveland. Cleveland ignored the security guard's, like, okay. call warning. Because I guess the, the trail or the monorail itself was coming. And he ignored and he tried to jump down onto, like, a canopy below. And I guess he landed on the canopy, but it wasn't, like, he didn't clear it enough to where the monorail wasn't going to hit him. So, the monorail hits him and then drags his body 30 to 40 feet down the track. So, for those that don't know what the monorail is, it's a... Uh 
well now I don't know how it was back then but now they pick you up like at a downtown, downtown Disney, yeah. Disney and it's overviewing Disney right so it picks you up and it takes you like pretty much around the park right. then it drops you off inside yeah vice versa if you're in the park it'll drop you off at downtown Disney mm -hmm. so what he tried to do was you know try to sneak into the park by going I along guess the, uh, going along the, the rail. rail he dragged them for 30 to 40 feet so imagine that bro you get hit you probably still kind of alive yeah and you're getting Maybe. dragged bro <laughs> like hell no all right to the next one this one happened a year later after the one he just explained the monorail one this one his name was ricky lee yam a 17 year old guy guess from where <laughs> california yeah <laughs> Hawthorne, california so now we have what is it called the trams the trams yeah trams where they take you from the parking lot to downtown disney to yeah, to downtown Disney, right? Back and forth into the park. Yeah, yeah because the parking is like if there was if that didn't exist, you probably walk like a mile and a half or so to get to, to get to just downtown Disney. Yeah. So they used to call it the people moving car. We'll have a, a picture and everything. But this dude decided to get up and jump from car to car because back in the day they actually looked pretty cool, and I think that's why they 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 redesigned them. To right? what they look like now. To what they look like now. So before it used to be like nothing on top and it will be like exactly like this. A couch like this where maybe two to three people fit and in front of you was another couch like this, two to three people. So you're facing each other. There was nothing on top. So dude decided to get up and started jumping from car, car to car. car to car. Slip, fell. And, and just got ran over. Randall, not ran over. <laughs> ran over. There was, it was instant death. He just got crushed and to make it to. I don't. I don't know if he was leaving the park or coming to the park, but like he didn't even die on a ride at the park. Like he died on like the tram. Dude, imagine like you have you just you just got done having a good ass time. Right? You're like hell yeah, and then you go and do some stupid like that, or maybe he was overly excited. Did that before he got to the park and dude. Either way, sit your died. butts down in that seat. At first, I thought I was like, oh, like you see a car, you're like, oh, so when it's raining or for when it's uh, uh hot. But now reading into all this bullshit, like these motherfuckers <laughs> ruined it for everybody, bro. Okay, so this next one happens in June 1973. This is like the year that year I think after. my mom was born. The year after, year after the last death. The year, and it's a year after the last death. So this one's about a kid from Brooklyn named Bojden. I, I'm going to botch his name right now, but it's Bojden Delaro. And that sound, that's as close as I can get it, y'all, so. And for the first time, <laughs> she's not from California. Nope. Brooklyn. So, him and his younger brother, who's 10, decide, now Del, I'm going to call him Delaro, is 18 years old. Youngin. Just call him Brooklyn. <laughs> so they decide, him and his younger brother, who's 10, decide to swim across where the Tom Sawyer, Tom Sawyer Island is. So they sneak, this is nighttime, so they actually make it, they swim across, they make it to the island, and the plan is to stay there once the park closes, right? So they actually ma manage to do that, the park closes, but now, a few hours in, they decide, okay, I guess they've had enough of it, now they want to go back. Well, instead of calling for help. for help at one of the park employees or anything like that, because they didn't want to get in trouble, which... I, I figured at this point, you're already going to get in trouble. Like, how are you not going to get caught? Like, I would have rather gotten in trouble then. Yeah. So, they decide to swim across. Well... To cross back. Yep. And so, they start swimming across. The younger brother can't swim. So, Brooklyn, I'm going to call him, decides to put his younger brother on his back. So, as he's swimming across, so it's dark. And I don't know if he was that great of a swimmer, but then doesn't make it across. The younger brother makes it across. And actually gets pulled up by uh, an operator on a boat. So from one of the boats, the operator pulls him up. And, you know, obviously he tells him, hey, my brother, my brother. Um, but they looked for the brother. They actually didn't even find him that night. They didn't find him until the next morning. And then, obviously, My passed. question for this, you really didn't find info for, was they swam across, right? Knowing that Brooklyn's brother couldn't swim, right? Yeah. So how did they make it across the first time? But then Brooklyn had to carry his 10 year old brother on his back to swim back. Right. That's what I don't get. Like, yeah. if you made it across. That's how you, that's what I was still wondering. Like, how did you make it across the first time? Then? And then. Unless the only thing I could think of is like, they were on a ride, like on one of those boat rides and they hopped off. Like where, cause you know, like those boat rides get pretty close to that island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the only way I could think is maybe they hopped off the boat and just was close enough to like swim to the island or 
close enough to just hop on the but island. But even though, if you don't have to swim, you're gonna drown. Yeah, drown. So that's my thing. Even if it's like from here to my living room, if you can't drown, you're gonna panic. I mean, you can't swim, you're gonna panic, panic and drown. Yeah. And how does Brooklyn drown and his brother stayed up? You know what that, I mean? I don't know. Maybe like I'm pretty sure like the brother was like panicking already because they said he couldn't he couldn't swim. But one of the operators on the boat passing by, like, picked him up. Probably panic kicked in and they saw. Yeah. Crazy, you know. Rest in peace, Brooklyn, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, the next death happened seven years later. So, for seven years, Disneyland wasn't right. having deaths and shit. They were accident-free. <laughs> they were accident-free because for a while, it was like, they're two years apart, one yeah. year apart, three years apart. So, this one happened in June 7th, 1980 to Gerardo Gonzalez. Just... Pretty much exactly like how Ricky Lee died 13 years later, right? So again, it was grad night from San Diego. He was from San Diego, grad night. So I, I don't know if it's over excitement that they, you know, are Maybe going they're trying back to impress home people. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, he's in the, the people mover again, right? So the same way, the same structure, his dumbass starts going from cart to cart to cart again. They say that they went through a tunnel and I guess it got dark or something. And when they came out, he stumbled, fell on the other side of the track while there was already an uh, oncoming uh, people okay. mover, another one. So there's one that goes to this land maybe and another one that comes back. So he fell and while he fell, like there was no time for him to like react because yeah. it was already there. Crushed him and it dragged him a couple, like a few hundred feet. A few hundred feet. So a few hundred feet, it could go either from 200 to like 500 feet. Imagine you fall, you get crushed, and then your body's just being dragged in how CJ said. Imagine being someone else on there and you just see your homie just get fucking drugged a hundred, a hundred, a couple hundred feet. All right, so the next one <laughs> happens in June 4th, 1983, three years later from the previous death. So this guy, his name is Philip Strong, 18 year old from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now, another grad night incident. Now, I don't know what it is, like you said, about grad night where people are just acting stupid, but we'll get into what caused him to do something stupid, at least. So, it's grad night, and it was also his 18th birthday, and that night they had been drinking, like, a lot. It says, like, they had been drinking heavily. So him and his buddy steal a boat from where around where uh, that Tom Sawyer American River is, and so they steal a boat from like the the maintenance room or one of the cast members only rooms and and uh it's like a little like makeshift boat or something like, it's like that. those rubber boats like rubber no. rafts yeah have you guys been to like uh like bumper boats yeah like something, something like that. something like that and so they take the boat and the plan was to take it to tom sawyer island now they didn't make it there because they hit like a rock that was close to Tom Sawyer Island and the boat crashed. Now, fortunately, Philip didn't make it. He drowns, but I believe uh, the friend made it back to shore and they went to find him. Now, I believe they found his body that night, like a few hours later, but I'm just like, man, like what, what is good? Obviously they were drunk. Like, at least that makes sense. Like they were drunk at least, you know, like. That still doesn't make sense <laughs> though. Like what? It's better than like someone doing it and not being drunk. Like. <laughs> they weren't in their right minds at least when they did this you know and people are you guys might be thinking like how are they drawing like a disneyland so at disneyland they have those that have been there uh you know that little parade where all the uh the characters are on the boat so the boat's mm -hmm. going through the little lake and they're waving or whatever so it's there so you know how you're on the other side next to Pirates of the Caribbean, I think. Yeah, and a and haunted mansion. And a haunted mansion. Yeah. So all that river is where these motherfuckers have been drowning. And then if you see the, like the little like cabin like thing On across, the, in the middle. that's the little island that I guess everybody tries to get to. Mind you, it's not that far, but I think to like I don't know. I mean, you've been. It gets pretty dark over there, man. So like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming like you know it's dark. And I think just panic sets just, in. You panic, yeah, like, I, I, there's nothing in me that would compel me to, like, try something like that. Like, <laughs> I don't know. If, I, I, knew, if I knew how to swim, bro, like, See? I, I, this I, is I, how it happens. <laughs> I'd be down to do a, a, what is it called? You know how, like, back in the day, well, not so long ago, people would be like, oh, 24 hours and, and uh, Target or 24 hours and, not 24 hours, but, like, Staying the night at Target or Walmart, they sneak in, they, they try to hide. Yeah. 
Like, I think I'd be down to do that, bro. Like at Disneyland, like not go in the water, that. but hide I see that. hide somewhere. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't swim across to the island to hide. But if I could hide somewhere, like just yeah, in, in the, the regular park, park, I would do that. I think I would do that, bro. That'd be sick, like just roaming around. And then you get to get there for free the next day if you don't have annual pen. All right, so this next one was similar to the Matterhorn where the kid purposely undid his belt and was standing on the right, right? This happened to Dolly Regine Young, which was 48. Well, I think this was the oldest death yeah oldest aged at death for uh, a person in this land this happened 20 years later from the first ones what had happened was a third or fourth of the, the mountain she just like slipped out of the ride right she slipped out of the ride and she hit an oncoming bobsled where her head and chest got stuck beneath the uh, the wheels so just imagine that so when they obviously had to examine it and, and do research, not research, uh, like investigation. investigation and stuff, they're seeing that the seatbelt wasn't fastened since, since she was riding solo on behind, like on the back of it. They don't know if it was purposely done that she unbuckled or it wasn't fastened before the ride started. Before it started. But like, there's nothing, that's a lot of conspiracy because me, me personally, when I get fast and bro, I make sure that shit yeah, is tight. I, I check it myself. Man. Right, you know, even if it's right here, like, all right, it's cool. The ones on the bottom, I check, like. I do I do my own, like, checking also uh, Like, too. hey, this is a little bit too loose. They'll come and help you. So whatever. you think she did it herself, maybe, to like, like that's what they said they're not sure. Like, if it's like a suicide type but see, of thing. But if there was a suicide, I think it'd be more of like what the kid did. Like unbuckle and stand on that. Stand on it. Like, why would you unbuckle and just sit there? That's true. You know what I mean? Like so. Like you would probably try to jump off or something. Jump off exactly. So they're saying that she just it just unfastened and because the ride is I don't know if it's the same but it's kind of tough. So when it makes turns, you're like foam you like slide, hard. You slide in your seat. So yeah. maybe if it did get un unfastened when she did like or when the ride did a hard turn, she fucking she just flew, flew off. off because the mountain has. It's the mountains, right? So when you're going down, you're coming out, but then there's other cars too. So if she flew out, imagine, bro, like, what are the odds for another fucking like, you flying out and just right, and right just, at that perfect moment? And she just died instantly. So we didn't find info about what the conclusion was, whether it was as CJ said, like a suicide attempt or it was really not fastened. Which to me, like reading into it, I don't think they properly fastened it. Because if I was, if someone's trying to commit suicide, wouldn't you think like, oh, I'm gonna do it purposely? Yeah. I'm a, you know, hang off of it or do whatever. She was from Vermont, Vermont, California, another California native. All right, y'all. So this next one happens December 24th, 1998. The day before Christmas. The day before Christmas. That's got to suck, man. Like, imagine you probably went out with your family to celebrate Christmas Eve, you know, just have like the holiday vibe because Disneyland like is really good at that. Yeah. And it's Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. They go all out with decorations. 4th of July. Like, no matter what it is, like, it just feels very festive. Yeah. Festive. So, this act this actually happens on that, that uh, Rivers of America boat ride. So, this one's a little different than the other ones. This one wasn't, like, negligence or anything like that. So, what it was was on this boat, three people got, two people got hurt really bad one person died now it says that those uh, uh the metal cleat and the ropes that hang on the side of the boat i mean uh, we'll put a picture of what the boat looks like but the, you know there's those long metal metal or long ropes that go and then there's a metal cleat at the bottom basically that metal cleat unhinged itself and flew off striking the, those three people hitting one which was the one that passed which was lou lawn phil dawson striking him in the head causing him to go brain dead and he actually didn't die on the spot it says he died three days later and, and it sucks because they were waiting in line to go on next yeah so imagine you're waiting probably a cool while just to get long. on a ride so you're just waiting there and then you're next up in line and i guess the boat was you know parking or doing whatever it had to do for the people to come off and the next people to come on and that shit happened too. So, I guess this is like the first incident where it wasn't like, like I said, it wasn't negligence, where it was actually something that was just wrong with the boat on like Disney, Disneyland. Next behind. death is a dude from Gardena, 22 years old, Marcelo Torres. So this one happened in the, uh, what's the red called? Uh, 
Big Thunder. Big Thunder Railroad. Railroad. Yeah. So that's one of my favorite rides at night time. <clears throat> During the day, yeah. it's white, but at night it's so. <laughs> so it's like you're legit on a, on a train, right? Yeah. So you have like the train thing in the front, and it has like little carts. So there's tunnels in the ride, right? So you, you go up, like there's a bunch of tunnels and everything. What ha happened was it just came undone, huh? Yeah. It came undone. They don't, they don't really say the details on how it happened. But then he got internal bleeding on his chest and he just died. But we didn't really find what? too much on it, so you can make up your own story in your head. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to picture and it's like, how could that happen? Because the seatbelts are right here. Yeah, it's not like it's those not on the your chest. chest it's just nothing. like a little bar that comes down. So I don't know if it was. Let's see, like, when it when they he attached, went like, he went into it. Like, I can see, like, if, if you got, like, go into that. Hard, hard that would jack you up because that ride is pretty fast like once yeah. you go in a tunnel and it like it just drops it just non-stop so it's true it's because it could be a lot of scenarios they don't really explain how. how it happened or how he hit his chest if he hit did hit his chest or he the thing was too tight so when he went forward you know, uh, it like, fucked him up on his stomach and like he internally yeah, bled up here out of all the deaths only him and the last one of the boat were not their fault. Yeah. But everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if like like out of these like last two words, not their fault, like if anyone is sued. That's probably like man, you brought like family members or something That's who have sued. Money, That's a lot of money, man. You get Disney, from Disney. Shit. That's why if you go now, like well obviously the pandemic, but if you were if you were to go like like even last year, they have so many like precaution rules now, like it's mm -hmm. crazy now, like to prevent all this. So now, you know, like people swimming across the thing, now they have a cast, like, Standing not all, all around, but like, right let's say you'll have, yeah, you'll have one here, a couple feet, you have another one like that. Top There's probably the even river. people in the little island watching towards Dude. us just to make sure nothing happens. No one's doing anything stupid anymore. So those are the ninth, the nine deaths, not in order. We went by the ear, but I think to me, the, which one was the craziest one for you? It has to be between either the, the the kid drowning with his little brother, or or the kid that tried to like scale the monorail. Yeah, that, that's that's the one I was gonna say. Like trying to sneak in and he just fell, and mm -hmm. that was it. Yeah, ran over by the monorail. Like all just to get into. I wonder how much it cost to get into Disneyland back in the day when that happened. So imagine like everything right now is so up to date. Yeah. Like that, where he died, what is it called? The one round? It looks like a, a bullet train. Yeah, it's it like, looks like a Yeah, it now. looks like a bullet train and all that. So, man, well, guys, thank you for tuning in to this storytelling. But <laughs> make sure you guys uh, comment on the comments below which one was your, I don't want to say favorite death, but which one was like <laughs> most interesting. more interesting to you. And if you have any topic suggestions, let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Make sure to like and Share. follow us on all platforms. All platforms. Uh, and make sure you share with your grandma, auntie, uncle, father, father-in-law, grandpa. Make them stop. Great grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Peace.